Hi there, this is Abhishek. In this video, I will talk about how you can perform some mathematical functions in R. So mathematical functions like min, max, stuff, etc. are pretty much popular. So let's start with that to identify the maximum values from a list of uh, numerical values. So let's say max and let's specify a few values manually and see how it works as the name suggests it will going to identify the maximum value so here you can specify the the you know different uh, numerical numbers and then figure out the information similarly you have min function to identify minimum value from the list of numerical value so here the 5 is basically the uh, minimum value so that's what it has returned so these are two very 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 basic uh, numbers that that uh, one can specify to get the relevant output but to know what are all the different functions that you can specify for that you can actually take a uh, take a help of R studio help or a R help to know what are all these different mathematical functions so for that we need to put the question mark sign and enter the package name s4 s4 group generic so here help uh, specifying methods can be defined for group generic functions so let's just enter this and see what are all these group generic functions i'll just expand a little bit so that you can easily see this and now uh, they have some descriptions so these are all the mathematical group functions that they have specified this and uh, then you have uh, the different list of arithmetic compare ops logic math math to all of these different kinds of categories of functions and then down there they are showing a little bit more detail under each of the group about what are the different functions that compares like in earth you have normal arithmetic operations so addition uh, subtraction multiplication etc compare have a normal uh, functions which has uh, uh, equals to equals to sign or greater than less than sign which you use in almost any other programming language logic and and or ops which is again a generic function uh, math uh, is again these are the ones which i just used minimum maximum and here you have a lot of others like absolute sign sqrt and all that sort of functions and if you want to know about any of the function let's say you want to know about abs function what it does then you can put a question mark and say abs and it will going to show again in very much in detail what this abs function does so abs function to be honest it just gives you the absolute value so if i have any negative value let's say minus seven then it just gives you the absolute or the positive value seven that's what it does so in some programs if there are uh, you are expecting that it can give negative va values however that's what you don't want to expect or you want to get in the operation then you can use absolute value to get the positive number similarly you have sqrt function so sqrt is nothing but the square root so if we are saying that we want to take a square root of 16 which will be 4 so we can do that uh, apart from uh, specifying the actual numbers, you can specify uh, either list or, uh, or an object containing a particular value. So earlier we have created uh, something like uh, some objects like A or B, which we have used. So if I just want to specify B in the SQRT function, I can simply go ahead and say SQRT, take a square root of B, which will be 7.07 .07, that means the square root of 50 after this uh, you can use these uh, objects in max and min functions also so the way you specify is max then first object and second object 
and we're going to take the b object because it has the maximum value but you notice that it does not give the object name but the value so you should be aware of this thing that you can specify an object to identify the maximum value and the output will be the actual value but not the object so this is how you can specify the numbers or the objects into a different mathematical function and uh, you have this s4 group generic method in which all of these functions have been specified so if i just run it again uh, you can go in, in there and take a help by putting the question mark just before the function name and get more information about each of the function which has been specified over there i will be i will be uh, utilizing all of these uh, different functions in my upcoming videos so i'm not giving a lot of emphasis uh, about uh, how to use each one because there are like as you can see if not 100 then there are obviously around 30 35 or 40 different functions which is in there and will be very very long video and uh, i think difficult to show you or grasp each and every function uh, at one go so we will see all of these different kind of functions when the situation will arise uh, in the upcoming videos so that's pretty much all uh, i wanted to show in this quick video about how to see uh, the mathematical functions that you have in there and uh, how to utilize the actual numbers or the objects within those functions so i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic